So this house is Tottenham Court. A really large size house, sidecar garage. Houses are further apart, they're not close. Uh, this is the side. We'll go on all four sides in just a minute. The roof looks newer and I'll zoom in. So you can kind of get some idea. It's, I'm guessing it should be five to seven years older and it's a corner lot. So you don't have any house on this side. You have this large lots here too. AC, one of the AC looks really old. The other one still looks newer. I see a small shingle right there raised up a little, but that's easily fixable. That's like $75. And uh, let's go take a look inside. Okay. When you enter, you have this two-story foyer. You have a formal living right here, which, or you can also use it as an office. Paint looks new. Flooring looks newer. It looks like a new fixture, large dining room area. two-story family room coat closet powder room I see a small spot for a previous leak but any old house even a newer house can have a leak as long as it's not active that's the main thing home you can see like you have three living rooms almost one in the very beginning make it a study or an office you have this living space and you can have a large dining space here and then you have another living space here so I guess the best way would be the first room could be an office this could be a guest living space and this could be a private living space So your pantry looks on the smaller side, but this is right next to it and this could be also used as a pantry. And then this is your garage. You have a step up. Since it's a sidecar garage, you have windows in the garage too. AC looks newer, 2018, so it's right there. Oh, not AC, I mean water heater. And the furnace is right next to it. There's always a leak underneath. Seems like there isn't any leak here. And that leak is a pre, like an old leak. Doesn't have to be a leak right now. So this is unique. They've made a chef's kitchen, which you would not find sometime even in a million dollar home. So your that kitchen always stays clean. You cook, do your cooking right here. Make this a messy kitchen. So it's very unique. Uh, there's a hookup there for laundry. So there might be a hookup upstairs as well, or they might use this for the kitchen and laundry. We'll take a look. You have stairs here and you have stairs up front too. We'll just go from that side. Carpet looks new. So both the stairs meet right here. This should be the master. You have hardwoods on the upper level. Usually you don't have that. You'll need a new fan. And this is a good size master because your bed's right here and then that's all sitting space. And this is a huge bathroom. It's like as big as a room. New shower. Huge. Just 
cabinets for storage. Room two, attached bathroom. Closet. Room three, hardwoods again. Lots of windows. Closet. Bathroom. So every room has a bathroom attached. One room has its private bathroom. This is a good closet size. And the other has a Jack and Jill. So I'll stand right here and I'll show you again so there's no confusion. So you come up here or from this side, right here's the master. You have a room there, Jack and Jill bathroom, room, room and a full private bathroom. This is the backyard. So if you remove these leaves, you have space right here. That side's fenced. You can fence right here. You put some shrubs there. It's, we, we can call it, Almost private backyard. Let me stand here and show you. So if you're sitting here, the only thing that can see is those windows. But if you plant some evergreen trees, then really nobody can see you what you're doing in your backyard.